Hey dolls, hey y'all, it's Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming back and taking a seat in out of all the YouTube universe. You decided to come and chit chat with your girl. Your girl is a bit natural today. I am chilling with the family, but I wanted to film this video because I'm tidying up my room. I'm getting things together for the holidays and I wanted to get these empties out. This is the last empties of the year and I know you guys I love to see my empties because I love to put like a huge number now we had a goal of 250 and I'm thinking well over all these empties that I got that I have over here we hit our goal so the great thing about project pan is that I've been able to push a lot of items out of my collection out of my stash out of my bathroom just because I am like really focusing on what I already have and I feel like empties videos number one is a great way to gauge if you like something or dislike it because if you finished it you would have liked it if you didn't uh, you probably still have some and it's also a great way to review items if you want to be a great reviewer on YouTube and you don't know just where to start empties is the way to go and also project pan I find that people that do empties and project pan videos are the best reviewers so if you want to check out what they think about an item definitely check out their empties definitely check out when they do reviews those are the people that's going to be you the go-to people here on YouTube so I want to get through these and of course at the end of the video we're gonna tally if we hit our goal of 250 and what goals are we going to make for the new year okay so I think we're already at 197 yes so we will count in this one how many we have and I do have some makeup empties I do actually I was looking over there I was like I, I got some stuff that's empty over there yes yes and we're gonna count it um this is currently in a project pan but it's empty so we're gonna put it put it in there but before we get into all of that if you're new oh welcome I hope you find something here on my channel that you absolutely love and I hope that you love commenting if you're one of my silent viewers that just like to watch I love you anyhow but I love engaging with you guys down in the comments let me know what you are getting through and also if you're an OG I love you girl I love you boyfriend because you have been sticking with me I know some of you I know a lot of you guys by name so I'm so happy when I can do that so let's just jump right in I don't want to get and further into this video if you are checking out vlogmas on my other channel missy q memoirs og to you because i probably have given away some giveaways already but go ahead and subscribe to my vlog channel and to daily dose of cj that's my home girl here on youtube and we are giving away some things over there but you gotta watch in order to win it so you got to be in it to win it. So let's go through these empties. Happy holidays to you guys. I'm trying to get everything out. And um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Okay, so the first thing, this is the Dr. Bronner's. This is their lavender soap. It was in a different a different language, but it's the same thing. I love this. The pump was amazing. I cleaned my brushes and my sponges with this, both mostly. Not really washing my hands with it, but it smelled amazing. And yes, I would purchase this again. I picked this up from like TJ Maxx or something for like six bucks. So it's definitely yes, six ninety nine from TJ. It's a winner. Okay, this is the Sweet Spot Vanilla Blossom. I told y'all we got to get it together down. You know what I'm saying. We don't even have to say the word, okay? But Virginia needs some special attention. So, Sweet Spot Labs. This was amazing. This is Virginia. This Virginia. <laughs> this is Vanilla Blossom. And um, I didn't like this scent as much as the other ones, but it was okay. Um, I definitely love this product, but I would pick a different scent. And sometimes that happens, you know? The 200th... <laughs> empty is the nip and fab hydrate dragon's blood daily fix cleansing pads i have talked about this i think in a favorites before if you want some really good drugstore skincare let me know i can do that video for you guys because i love skincare if you hadn't noticed but dragon's blood fix daily cleansing pads this one was really good i definitely would pick it up again i got it on sale 
it smells so good like the scent is still in here in this jar and um i want to show you a diy project that i am doing so i'm actually going to keep this for the diy project but we are considering this empty so that is our 200th empty you know what i'm saying okay so the next item this is the coconut water weightless cream rinse i really did enjoy this it is it was really great for a leave-in in the summertime i think it has glycerin so i definitely would not use this i'm not seeing glycerin yeah i see glycerin in it my hair can tell okay it's super missy palo is sensitive but this actually had 23 more percent this was really good i would repurchase this but only in the summertime but it has amazing slip if you need something that you need to detangle your hair really well this is a really good one and it's lightweight and this is specialized for fine curly or wavy hair so i really enjoyed that by the, by the way, that was Shea Moisture. Um, this is Smooth Naturals Nourishing Mist Vanilla Woods. I am going to come with a, a natural hair video of like my holy grails things that will forever be, be in my collection or have outlasted the test of time. And this is definitely one of them. This is Vanilla Woods. My husband loves for me to spray this on his feet and just to relax you know when you are on your feet all day this i know goes on your body but this is an amazing mist is it any in here oh it's a little bit and the mist is really good on here you know there's nothing like a bottle with a great mist so this was really really good it has like a woodsy scent so just a little bit left it's designed to put on your skin this is in vanilla wood so it has a woodsy scent so great for winter it's a winner Y'all already know I'm smooth criminal. Okay, let's talk about some wipes. These are the Simple Radiance wipes. These were okay. I think I like the original. These really didn't do anything for me, so I really wouldn't repurchase those. But um, for cleansing your face, it was okay. I feel like those are ones that we use in the morning where I really want to cleanse my face, but more so give that Radiance glow right before I put on makeup. These are the Kirkland Facial daily facial toilets these are amazing these are like my a1 test of times you can pick these up from sam's club or costco but these are amazing it comes in a box and it's definitely worth the money super juicy you don't have to worry about these drying out these are amazing and i love this one is in 30 the other one is in yeah both of these are in 30 but i do have some 15 ones for um for travel i really love those the shiseido cotton pads do facial pads whatever you want to say do we have to even talk about these everybody talks about these and once you get these this is probably like my second uh, no my third packet of these once you get these and then try to go back to the ones in the store i'm telling you you're gonna be like oh wait because you don't get the film you don't get the little cotton Thing, the lint hanging on your fingernails and on your face and everything I'm telling you and th it sits the product perfectly on top of it it doesn't soak it into the pad where you lose products and you're like wait a minute I just put some on there where is where did it go it puts it on there removes it and I can use one of those and it comes six, 165 in those amazing if you get anything from this the facial wipes from Kirkland's and those Shiseido cotton wipes are winners okay Micellar water by L'Oreal, the Micellar cleansing water. Now, I like the Garnier better. I know that their L'Oreal owns both of them, but I feel like that there's a difference. And for some reason, I feel like the Garnier is more hydrating. If you guys have tried this one in the Garnier, tell me what you think about it. But I kind of like the Garnier, but I definitely would purchase this again, especially if it's on sale. And the Garnier is cheaper. I want to say this is $9.99. The Garnier is like $6.99. Never mind. Garnier, I'm coming for you. This is the Hangover RX. This was in a project pan. So this is um, amazing. I don't get this anymore just because, y'all, a lot of you guys have been asking me what this, what's the dupe that made me stop buying this and it's half the price. It's the Pacifica Coconut Probiotic Water Rehab Cream. It's the same exact thing. Thing, I kid you not and you get 1.7 ounces in this one in this one right here 
and you get 1.35 so you get more product half the price y'all if you get this you're gonna be like melissa it's the same thing it has electrolytes in it it does the same thing and this one actually has as coconut water and vegan probiotics this one's cruelty free this is cruelty free and vegan okay you make the choice but this is really good I, i'm not shading it at all but this to me half the price same thing more product is just a winner so probably not going to be picking up the hangover rx anymore but hey if they want to send me samples or i get it in a box or something of some sort i'm going to keep using it it's amazing the origins high potency nitamins oil amazing with creams night creams this is an amazing one that's really to me this absorbs makes your cream absorb even more into your skin it's amazing i would repurchase this cashmere glow with shea and vitamin e oil uh shower gel from bath and body works i wish i would have gotten more of these i hope this is a permanent scent i love this and it's amazing cashmere glow yes repurchase this is the Mario Badescu. This was the facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I have another one of these. It's amazing. I look. It looks like I have a, some more in here. Now it's empty. Repurchase. <laughs> this is the Noel. See, it's so hard at the end of these to really get the end, the rest of this. The Vanilla Bean Noel. Now, I like this better than the Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath & Body Works. That's not clashing with the Vanilla Woods that I already had on. But this is amazing. I think I already ha I have another one, one of these. But these were on sale during the semi-annual sale from Bath & Body Works. Definitely a repurchase. This is from Be Cure Beauty. This is the Thai Ginger Grass. Thai Ginger Grass Special Reserve Body Butter. It's amazing. I think I use this in my hair too. Absolutely gone. If you like lemongrass, that's what this smells like. Repurchase. Okay. Neutrogena. This is their healthy liquid makeup. Now, what I did with this, because it did not have a pump, but is a dupe to my NARS Sheer Glow. I was out of my NARS Sheer Glow, so all I did was empty it in here where I have a pump. So, now this is the Neutrogena. So, the bottle is empty, but not necessarily what's in it. So, we're not going to count this as an empty. I'm just showing you guys what happened, okay? So, just so you know, somebody on YouTube got to be honest, right? I'm not saying anybody everybody not honest but i'm just saying you know i'm just letting you know what happened what had happened was now these are ones that i'm decluttering this one was too dry this is by jcat this was a lip pencil got dry really quickly would not repurchase it but this is the runway lashes by milani this was good it you have to let this dry out though because it's way too wet when you open it but it's a really good, it reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And I believe these are close around the same the same um, price point. So if you can't find the Carbon Black by L'Oreal or if they're out, if you go to this, you will be just as satisfied to me. So I would repurchase that only if the Voluminous Carbon Black by L'Oreal was out. This is from Caring... Dr. Caring, this is a replenishing cleanser. This was amazing. I actually have another one of these, but I really did enjoy this. This is a facial cleanser, and it really got off my makeup, but it also has some uh, some like skincare properties. And I know it's a skincare product, but it has like nutrients and stuff that it puts it back into your skin. So I would repurchase this. But I have a backup, so I no need right now. This is the Mary Kay 3-in-1 Cleanser. This is a oh, holy grail for me. This is the for the normal to dry skin. I love this. It has the beads. It's the cleanser, the toner, and exfoliator. What? It's 3-in-1, so it cuts your time in half with cleaning your face. Repurchase. Okay, this is the NYX Circle concealer i love this but let me tell you something i am so tired of things and pots because number one it changes the consistency i've learned that and the other thing is that the master conceal there's a camouflage conceal by maybelline that's 
it beat this i cannot believe this i've gone through so many jars of this and i really like it. it's very hydrating not to say that i wouldn't repurchase that again but if i had to choose i would go a, uh, over a wand over a pot any day in the book now because it's just the application is better the consistency stays the same longer not to say that this one ever changed but i just saw dicking your finger in it and everything i could just take it out the wand put it on and just tap it in and it was just so much easier so i would repurchase this but it has moved further back on my list of things that i like okay the ginseng refreshing eye cream by origins uh, this is definitely a repurchase for me i really do like this but i it got old because I had too many eye creams. So I repurchase, but I'm a little bit smarter because I have way too many. The Aqua Primer Mist by e.l.f. I like this, but I feel like um, I like what the contents, but the spout is what got to me. And I didn't like the product because of the mist. So I'm going to have to put this. I actually put this in one of my Fix Plus sprays and it's fine, but I really like the mist. I really like this product. But I did not like the mister, so I probably, I'll try that one again just to see if it was a defective one. You know, no problem, just because e.l.f. is inexpensive, so I'm willing to take a chance on that one. One of my favorite, um, one of my favorite deep conditioners, this is by Shea Moisture. This is Monongo Hemp Seed High Porosity Deep Conditioner. Yes, I would repurchase this. I really do enjoy this. And my hair loved it. So um, I'm getting through some deep conditioners. But this is definitely a repurchase. Yes, this would be on still in my top five. And it's a holy grail. Not my favorite anymore. Not, not my number one anymore. But definitely like up there. This is the Coconut Blind by Sweet Spot Labs. This is the one that I really like. Definitely a repurchase. This is the Laneige. It's so hard to get this stuff off the bottom. Ooh, I can open it. Never mind. Never mind. It's not an empty. We're going to finish that off. Like, I feel like this is still too much to say that this is an, not an empty. So, I'm going to finish this off. Y'all know I love Laneige. You know, sometimes you feel like you can't get it out and you get frustrated and you throw it away. But then you, you come back to it. That's how I feel. Pharmacy. The Skin Dew. This was really good, but I did not like the spray on here. I got two of these and I didn't like I still didn't like the spray but I do like the essence inside of it so it's a hydrating essence I would just open this up and put it in my hands and like press it into my skin but um, I need to see what a larger one would do uh, it's really nice I need to see if I would like that but the soy face wait the fresh soy face cleanser I love this I've never had to purchase this because Sephora always gives this in some type of free type of deal and but I really really do like this do I like it more than my purity probably not because my purity made simple that I can get um takes off my makeup and can cleanse my skin but I really do like this this is amazing for sensitive skin if you have it the sorbet cream sorbet by Caudalie the moisturizing sorbet it didn't do anything like that blew me away so i would not repurchase this totally can be very pricey and um they the beauty elixir yes i would repurchase there are other things that i would repurchase but not that because it didn't make such a big um significant change for me these are the moisturizing energizing wipes by pacifica these were okay um but these are great if you have dry skin and you need to refresh the skin but if you're wearing makeup, these really would, would defeat the purpose. But they would be great on your no makeup days. This is the Instant Karma Facial Cleansing Oil by Pacifica. This was good. This was good. Would I? Um, no, this was really good. Would I repurchase it? I have other oils that I feel like I love more than this. And this would not hit my top five. So it's a good product. But it's not as good as my other cleansing oils if or makeup removers if that makes any sense this is the laneige cushion um i'm finished with this one would i repurchase yes definitely uh this was i'm in the shade medium dark so i would repurchase this tart guard i talked about this in a favorites a couple of favorites videos definitely a repurchase um i went through two of these ish yep 
went through two of these so these are empty i would get the larger one this is one of my favorite spfs and it's affordable to me it's one of the affordable spfs that's really good that's not sticky that won't roll up on you it absorbs really well in the skin and it lays really well under makeup so i really do like those this is the puffy eye turbo boost hydrating gel hated this this was from um uh, soap and glory i have some other things from soap and glory that i really like but this did not do anything in terms of puffy eyes to me and i can tell oh speaking of puffy eyes, this was amazing this is the embryo embryo lease secret day monkiel eclat de regard this is really good um this dried out on me but basically what you do is you put it it's like the hydrogel by pure that works okay that i have over here but this one is even better it costs more but it's better because as soon as you put put it on it's instant eye bag remover so i really do enjoy this and yes i would repurchase that by Cota Lee. this is the mega mushroom skin relief i did like this from origins i got this from some type of pack it did intrigue me to the point where i would pick up this toner um i remember it being very hydrating and very very um hydrating very refreshing when i can remember a product and it's been a while that's a good sign so yeah makeup that i finished this i hit pan on i absolutely love it i would get it off of amazon this is the nyc smooth skin bronze face powder in sunny definitely a repurchase but i need to get through some bronzer so not at the moment this is the Genifique eye cream. I really like this. Um, it was a deluxe sample. I really did enjoy this. Would I repurchase it? Definitely. I, it did. I could tell that it really hydrated my under eye uh, under eyes, especially at night. This one is a great one. This is the PYT Argon Oil. It smells amazing. This is a hair treatment oil. That I heard the Glam Twins talk about. Now, this fell, I tried some of it, so it is good, but I didn't empty out all of this to be honest because it it wasted into my bag somehow. I don't know if something is wrong with the top, but this is something definitely that I would retry again. I did like it like the two times that um, I had it, but it's not something that I just like fell in love with just yet this is the ultimate hydrate by smooth naturals now this is a skincare product that i had that's like a serum it comes in an amber glass bottle and i really did love this and i i do have their skincare system that i need to still review for you guys i'm so sorry this is the vi poo rosy starlet um it's supposed to be kind of like a uh, poopery this doesn't work save your money this is the la vanilla uh, no aluminum all natural healthy deodorant and pure vanilla it dried on me very quickly but i really well this one well no it's not dried out why is it not why is let's see oh that's why the reason why is because it's so small it started to fall out but i really do like this deodorant i like the sport better i actually picked that up at the sephora vib like that better i would repurchase the sport but not that one this is the revita lift anti-wrinkle firming cream by l'oreal i had this in a couple of my favorites videos and this is gone i love this i would repurchase that this is the cleanser by smooth naturals this was a deluxe size as you can tell i really love it because it has glycolic acid in this so it not only tones but takes away dead skin cells this is the up and up reviving a body wash i did not like this this is like the worst body wash that i've ever had in my existence of knowing about body washes i did not like it i would want it i was like trying to hurry up and it was so bad that i had to use another body wash with this but i did not want to waste it and just throw it away so i did it but i did not like it um i'll go with like dove or back to my caress this is the marshmallow pumpkin latte shea and sugar body scrub by bath and body works this was amazing i got it on sale wish i would have picked up like 10 of these but um once you're all punk pumpkined out in terms of the holidays you get tired of something like this so i'm glad i only picked up two 
and I'm done with that. Okay, so, um, oh, let's go through some things in terms of my Project Pan. I am going to include these. I still have a Project Pan going on, but I want to show you guys what I have already gotten through in terms of those. This is the Califia Hair Styling Pudding. I've had it for a long time. I put it in a Project Pan. I'm done with it, and I love this. This is by Kamaza Care. It's such a great product. I would definitely, definitely, definitely repair, purchase this because this is a holy grail of mine. I do have some other things to get through, but this is one of the project products that you kind of like miss when you don't have it. So I'm definitely going to pick that up. Myo Organics. I did not do a review on this. I, um, I, I'm emptying this, but I want to do a review because I like this. But I want to come with full specs on this, but... I'm going I'm just gonna leave it like that um yeah I emptied it though so that tells you a lot just wait for that review because I'm gonna get that again this is the um I have a little bit of this so we're not gonna deem this as empty yet because it's still in a project pan let's go through some oh this I did the first base premiere base primer spray I like this a lot reminds me a lot of my smash box primer water if you wanted to try this now this is better but it reminds me of it so I would pick this up if I did not have this around but now sometimes they have they've been having sales like 21 days of beauty has been having these on sale I do have a couple of bottles of these so I'm not gonna need this anytime soon but I would pick this up if I didn't have this in stock so this is really good. NYX is really good to me about duping high-end products or at least making it very similar. Beauty Elixir by Caudalie. Like I told you, I love this. I did not like the Sorbet, but this is definitely a repurchase for me. They just need to work on this uh, spray because I've heard a lot of people say that the spray, this spout leaks and mine totally did leak, but it is amazing. I love this. I have not seen, I have not felt anything on my face as a makeup setting spray or a um, rejuvenator or what have you like this if it's like pure effervescence at its best with mint in it so i really like the that. pixie glow uh they do this is all gone but i have to actually talk about this in a project pan so i'm gonna keep it but we're counting it as emptied and the reason why i'm doing that is because uh we emptied it in 26 2017 a lot oh Oh Lord. Uh, we emptied this in 2017, so I'm counting that. Um, this is the Advanced Eye Cream by Estee Lauder. This is amazing, amazing. Definitely something that I would definitely pick up again. It's great for at night. I could tell a difference in my under eyes. And this L'Occitane definitely is a repurchase. This is the Comfort Cream Light. I actually want to try the other one for the winter, but this one is great day and night. So it's thick enough to for a night cream. It's light enough for a day cream. Just using a little bit goes a long way. I checked the website on Sephora and it is one of those affordable type of day creams or uh, moisturizers. I think it's about $30. I feel like that that's a great price point for what you're getting. But this was a really, really good. And this is one 0.7 ounces so you do get more than one ounce of product you're almost getting two ounces for thirty dollars that's pretty good when it comes to a really good moisturizer because i am stickler on moisturizers because i feel like that's one of the most important parts whether you're oily um oily dry combination you need a really good moisturizer so i highly recommend this one this i emptied out of so Y'all, I'm going to leave it at that. That is my my beauty favorites, um, some of my makeup favorites of and empties of some of them favorites and nails. But these are my empties for the year of 2017. I do have some more in terms of makeup, but I think I want to talk about these because I'm looking in here and there are a lot of that I regret buying. So I think I'm going to do a products I regret buying mascara edition because I have a ton of mascaras in here. Don't forget to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Comment down below and let me know what you have gotten through. And as always, we are going to put the tally right here. I think I went through over 50 products.
I just think. We shall see. Hold on. Um, hold. Hold, please. I'm going to let y'all know. So hold, please. I'm about to count these all right now. But I do think we went through over 50. So we were already at 200. Remember with those three. So we're going to, I'm going to take out three items and then I'm going to count the rest. Give me a second. Okay, guys, you are not going to believe this. I have emptied 49 products. We have to do one more. We have to do one more. And as you can tell, these are all my empties. So we have to do one more. Let's talk about something that I've emptied. Oh my God. I cannot believe that I got to 49. So this is going to be the 250 products. Let me do one that I really, really like. 250, 250 empties complete with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. This is an OG. I'm definitely picking it up. I actually even opened up the spout, but this is such an amazing product. 250 empties. We did it, you guys, and we did even more. But like I said, I want to talk about products that I regret buying. So, um, there are some more in here that I have emptied and we're going to talk about that. Maybe I'll put that on my, this on my vlog channel of like ones that I really like makeup that I like or something. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'll put a poll over here. You let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already and I'll see beautiful you in the next video. Bye love.